How to survive a date when there's no chemistry. Sometimes you meet someone on a first date and quickly realize that the two of you have no chemistry. What is the socially acceptable way to handle this oftentimes awkward situation? While your first reaction may be to call off the date immediately, go home, and start fresh in the morning, this would be an inappropriate response. Even if you feel no chemistry, it is important that you be polite and do your best to have a good time. In addition, you owe it to yourself and the other person to make absolutely sure there is no chemistry by allowing the date to continue. Making the most of your date. Recognize that the date is not a total disaster and just relax. Just because you do not feel a spark on a first date with someone does not mean it is the end of the world. Keep in mind that it is not possible to have chemistry with everyone. Try to laugh off the lack of chemistry and make the most of the date by considering it an opportunity to make a new friend. Get to know the person like you would try to get to know anyone else. Ask questions about his or her interests, hobbies, likes, dislikes, and goals. Some good questions to ask include. Where did you grow up? What are your hobbies? How do you like to spend your spare time? Where do you work? Do you like working there? What are your friends like? Do you like to read? If so, what is your favorite book? Are you a big movie goer? If so, what kind of movies do you like? What is your favorite movie? Make conversation more interesting by proposing a debate. When it's clear no relationship will come of this date, you may want to use this opportunity to see just how different you are from your date. Try asking your date about his or her thoughts on global warming or some other controversial issue. Although you might disagree, you might enjoy hearing someone else's viewpoint and the topic may spark an interesting conversation to help pass the time. As an added bonus, by learning about your date's opinions you may even become more attracted to him or her. People who have common interests and beliefs tend to be more attracted to each other. Dealing with a lack of chemistry. Suggest the two of you become friends. If you do not feel any chemistry but suspect that the two of you may become friends, try making that suggestion. If you do this, be absolutely clear that all you want is friendship. It is possible that this may not be an option if the other person is attracted to you. However if the other person shares your idea, you might have found a great new friend out of a bad date. Try saying something like, even thought we were not a match, I had a good time getting to know you. Do you think we could be friends? Keep in mind that this strategy can backfire as well, so be careful about using it. Some people may feel just as rejected if you suggest that the two of you become friends. It is also possible that your lack of chemistry may mean that you do not even have enough in common to become friends. Determining if chemistry is lacking. Check for signs of chemistry. Chemistry is not scientific. It is not something that can be identified or be developed between two people. However, psychological studies have provided some insights as to what chemistry is made of. It includes non-judgment, similarity, mystery, attraction, mutual trust, and effortless communication. If you have chemistry with someone, then you will probably feel it. But you may want to take a moment to consider what you have in common with the person and determine whether chemistry is really lacking. Try asking yourself some simple questions to determine if you have chemistry with someone. For example, you might ask, am I attracted to this person? Do we have things in common? Do we share values and beliefs? Do I want to know more about this person? Is it easy to talk to this person? If your answer is yes to any of these questions, then there might be something there. Organize a good first date to allow chemistry to develop. Chemistry between you and your date may fail to develop if you organize a terrible date. By spending time together and having a good time, you have a better chance of seeing who the other person is and what they are like. Use your imagination when planning a first date so that it reflects you as a person, but you may want to keep these tips in mind. Pick a fun, neutral location. Avoid noisy bars, as you will want to be able to hear your date. First dates can benefit from having shorter time limits. Consider getting ice cream or a coffee rather than meeting for dinner.